Hello. So, this occurred to me far later than it should have. But, uh, I realized since I can't alter the sound from the cinematics, I'm just going to turn it down in OBS and then turn it up in here until it's at a reasonable volume. I think I turned it down too far. Up it just a little bit like that. Can you swap them out for a different part of my number? I can. I can actually swap them out now. How does this sound? Is this all right? Is this too quiet? Too loud? Music is pretty quiet, but game sounds good. Okay. Oh, the music's quiet because it muffles the music when you're in the menu. Okay. I am actually going to turn the music up a little bit more, though. Just because I like the music. I'm so mad. I got the soundtrack for this game and it only has like half the songs on it. It's so irritating. I paid for that soundtrack. Uh, we equipped everyone yesterday, so I think we're good to go. When Vossler learned my father had been killed the night of the treaty signing, he returned to Ravenastra, there to aid my escape. There was still time before Vane's reach extended too far. We thought that you could protect me. However, when I then made the announcement that you had taken your own life, I must have seemed a model citizen of the Empire. The announcement, you see, was Vane's suggestion. Of course, at the time I was reluctant, but I could not perceive his reasons. Now it is clear he meant to drive a wedge between us. Aline, we are past all this. Bujirba must stand with us. We can stop Bane. <sighs> I once knew a girl whose only wish was to be carried in her uncle's arms. Your majesty is a woman grown now. Then Bushirba will aid me. Suppose for a moment you were to defeat Vane. What then? You cannot simply rebuild your kingdom with the only proof of your birthright stolen. Without that, the Grand Kiltia San Omises cannot and will not recognize your majesty as the rightful heir. You may yet be a princess, but without proof of your identity, you are powerless. You will remain with me. We do nothing till the time is right. I cannot just wait. Then what does your majesty propose we do? Uh, Uncle Halim. Incidentally, what is the going rate for rescuing princesses these days? Food would be a start. The good stuff, mind you. This can be arranged, though it will take some time. Time enough for a bath, I hope. Dirty business, you know. Ah, best bring a change of clothes, too. Digital soundtrack from Steam? No, it's it's uh, like uh, the actual physical CD that I got. Not sure I like this guy. Ondor is very politically savvy 
and a little bit too politically savvy. What are you doing? This is Balthier's ship. I'm going to retrieve the Dawn Shard. It's the proof that I need. I know where it's hidden. I'll return his airship later. Are you crazy? This is something that I have to do. Not only for myself, but for all those who have fallen. I will not be made to hide. I'll fight alone if I must. You still have Bosch, right? Besides, you can't just go around stealing people's ships. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to concentrate. That's quite enough, Your Majesty. What do you think? A bit over the top. In my line of work, you never know when something like this might come in handy. I'm trying to concentrate. I'm leaving you with a Marquis. You can't! Trust me, you're better off staying here. Suppose you kidnapped me instead. You're a Sky Pirate, aren't you? Then steal me. Is that so much to ask? What do you have that I would want? The Dynast King's treasure. The Dawn Shard is but one of the riches that lie waiting in King Wraithwall's tomb. King Wraithwall, you say? Kidnapping royalty is a serious offense. It won't do much to lower the bounty on your head. How much is the price on your head these days, I wonder? Allow me to escort you in Vossler's place. Will you be joining us? What? Are you kidding? I don't want to stick around this place. Then I'm coming too. Panello. Don't leave me here. <sighs> of course not. Then it's settled. We should leave before the Marquis realizes she's missing, like proper kidnappers. Because Vaughn is only here because he wants to be, and Penelope is only here because of Vaughn. I hate it. I hate it so much. But I was going to say, oh, we got more cutscene. Sorry. I'm trying to stay quiet during the cutscenes. Dr. Sid, does this set Draclaw? I have confirmed he receives funds from Lord Vane. His agency in the fall of Nabudis is also certain, yet with Judge Zekt who led the assault missing. The truth remains difficult to ascertain. The long cold years have clouded my eyes. I cannot see my own son's heart. <laughs> <coughs> My lord. This illness will claim me. So then, who is to be my successor? The Senate fears the capable Peregrine Vane. They prefer a young fledgling emperor. Gabranth. Once in the past, I laid siege to your homeland. The Republic of Landis is long since gone. My allegiance lies wholly with the Empire. Perhaps. But what of your brother? He did not accept us as you did. He fled to Dalmasca. Did you never think to follow him? I follow his every move. He is an enemy of the Empire. He will be cut down. So you would kill even your own brother for the Empire. Be that as it may, Gabranth. Your ruthlessness is not without merit. But 
It must not become this way with Larsa. You must ensure that it does not. So then you ask me to be his sword, to strike where he might not. Rather be his shield. Gabranth, keep your close watch on Vayne. His is the keenest blade of all. My lord. Do this for me, Gabranth. I could not... I could not bear to see my sons... war with each other again. <clears throat> Are we done? Nope. <laughs> Not yet. Whoa. This come in handy often? It's tough being popular. Wouldn't want any admirers dropping in while we're away. Well now, that's as far as she goes. We'll be in yacht from here onwards. Across the Sand Sea, to the Valley of the Dead, and to King Wraithwall's tomb below. So, when you're in Yacht, Skystones don't work at all. And that's why we gotta hoof it the rest of the way, you see? Happy you get to teach me something for a change? Well, if you wanna be a Sky Pirate, you gotta know your... Hey, what do you mean for a change? Come on, At least we thought it. to bring I'm entertainment. Oh yeah? Says who? Want to see what they think about it? I wouldn't be so confident. Yeah, I'm with Ash on that. Heavy sigh, face palm. Okay, finally, the cutscenes have ended. Um, so the reason that Ondor was the, the guy that you were saying, not sure you like this guy, he has spent the past two years jumping at shadows and working to undermine the Empire without being noticed. Um, he's too used to hiding and planning, so he doesn't like the idea of direct action without a very solid plan and lots of preparation. Um, these characters have insufficient armor? Yep, they all do, except for Balthier and Bosch. And funnily enough, those are two of my favorite character designs in this game. <laughs> um, Vaughn needs a shirt. Fran needs everything. Ash needs pants. I guess Pinello is wearing, I guess, kind of a jumpsuit that bears her thighs for some reason. But, uh, yeah, that's a common problem in this game, is characters needing more armor. Um, I was also going to point out, uh, I had said this in my first uh, session of playing this. Um, there's a bit in the beginning that sounds like it has terrible voice acting where quote-unquote Bosch is uh, yelling at Vane and admitting to killing the king. The reason that the voice acting is bad there is it's Bosch's brother pretending to be him, and he's a bad actor. Not, not the voice actor, like the character is bad at acting. Like, that's an intentional thing, just as kind of a hint that that's not actually Bosch. That it's someone playing a part. Sword. Hey! Musk stick. I'd like someone to explain to me what exactly a musk stick is. We do not have the money for everything that I purchased from this guy. Really use that killer bow. And he's got armor. Rology and poach, cura. We'll get Kira. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. 
and that means we are going to change Pinello's Gambit from Cure to Cura. We're going to lower the threshold to 70%. I do like the ship is cloaked. This is the anchor. And if you look up, it just fades away. The non existence. Ah, uh, you know what? We should save just in case I screw something up so we don't have to watch all the cutscenes again. Even though all I've done is spend my money. Technically, I should go back to like Monteblanc. This is a really good point in the game to like do some hunts, go to Mont Blanc and uh, get your rewards and pick up any new hunts there. But I want to go to the Sand Sea. I like the Sand Sea a lot. So, where exactly is Wraithwall's tomb? Far to the west. We must first cross Yogir Yensa, and beyond that, the Nam Yensa, before we reach the tomb. An expanse of desert larger still than all of Delmasca. We must pace ourselves. If you grow tired, we stop and take rest. You don't have to worry about me. I'm tougher than I look. <laughs> you are at that. I know that this doesn't make any sense physics-wise and can't really happen, but I love the, the ocean of sand moving and flowing like water. I think it's so cool, and I think they did a really good job animating it. Stop parrying. Little jerk. I do hate that you can get techniques and spells that you already have from treasure chests. I'd rather the game would recognize that you have it and instead roll you like a low reward something. Even if it's just a hundred gil, at least it's not nothing. I also really like these uh, giant oil rig buildings, the, the platforms that you walk on. I like these so much that I actually recreated them in Terraria once on one of the worlds that I made. Not, not like, beautifully recreated. I, I created a structure that was styled after that, I guess is a better way to put it. But I, I really like the, 
the <coughs> design and everything. It does feel a little modern for a fantasy game. Like, why do they even need that much oil for anything? They don't have anything that runs on oil. But, as with the Sand Sea, I'm willing to suspend disbelief just to enjoy their design and setup. Vaughn's getting really good with the steals. A construct to draw oil from the ground. Abandoned many years now, it seems. Did Dalmaskans build this? No, the Rosarians. Their empire lies far to the west, ever at war with Arcadia. Heedless of the kingdoms caught in their midst. Dalmasca, Nebrodia, Landis. Tis the small craft's fate to watch the list of the galleons and pray for light winds. Vosla, why are you here? Imagine my surprise when upon my return to Bojerba, I find both you and the Lady Ash have vanished. I thought you above consorting with Sky Pirates. Malthir is a man worthy of our trust, and it was the Lady Ash's decision. I am content to lend my arm. As I could not when Rassler died, when her throne was taken. Never again. I will defend her this time. You walk the night's path. The Lady Ash? We should leave this place. Let me guess. Sandstorm? Something far worse. I see. So the Dawn Shard does lie in King Wraithwall's tomb. The Marquis sympathizes with your plight, yet the Empire perches as a carrion bird on his shoulder. He can keep whispers of your abduction silent for only so long. Yes. Tell me, Vossler, what have you accomplished? We leave at once. This is Urutan Yensa territory, and they are unfond of visitors. This is a cool cutscene. Looks like we've attracted the wrong sort of attention. Let's quit this place while we still can. Move! Vossler! Have you found the means to restore Dalmasca? First, we must claim the Dawn Shard. It all begins with that. I like that the cutscene is like, we have to hurry, but then, like, nothing's changed. Kill Vossler because basically his only purpose here is to sap your XP and LP. 
definitely don't need him for the fights. Well, there is one other reason you get him. He, uh, he has telekinesis, which is the ability that melee uh, classes can use to hit ranged enemies. And at the very end of all of this, there is a boss who counts as a flying enemy. So if you made all of your characters melee classes for some reason and have no ranged weapons at all and no magic, Bossler can still hit it. But yeah, I uh, I like the design of the Uratanyensa. They are crab people. And they like walk around like crabs. Um, I like that their legs are basically spikes and they kind of constantly shuffle to keep their balance instead of standing still. I also like that they ride sandfish. Also, once you get to the Namiensa Sand Sea, you can chain these guys so easily and get so much money. Brand, don't do it. Bowgun is the worst one. Okay. Oh, shoot. I need to turn off Pinello's rays. Because whenever I switch out the party, Pinello will, uh, um, will try and raise Vossler. I guess I could probably turn off Vaughn stealing. There's no point in stealing from the Humanoids. They only give you like potions and stuff. And I'm not too concerned about getting uh, loot from the few non-Humanoids we'll encounter. An amulet. Wait, isn't that the double XP? Double license.
Sorry, just trying to figure out what path I'm going to take through all this. I'm not too worried about breaking the chain. We will uh, have plenty of opportunity later to build up the chain. Also, I was wrong. It is the Ogier Yainza Sansi. That is the good farming spot. Oh, I can't look at the Nam Yainza, even though I have the... Okay. Um, well, is it? I could have sworn it was the Nam Yainza. It might be OG. Either way, there is a good farm spot to be had. These guys hurt. Thank you. 
Searching in caverns. We do not want to hang out here. This is a good place to die. Yeah, that slime has 2,000 HP. Oh, but we can hit it for full damage. As long as we take them one at a time, we should be fine. Yeah. I mostly came down here just to put it on my map. Yeah, this is a dead end, but you can see those enemies. Level 36, 8,000 HP. We do not want to mess with those. Froggos have respawned. That certainly helps. Good job. Here. Fran's going to run out of mana soon. We'll go around. We'll actually stop off down here first. That's what I was hoping to see. Yes. Some places along the edge near the sand sea, these guys will spawn. I like the huge crash sound they make. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna get a 
everyone else to 18 now. Traps. On. Nothing here. Hey, it's this guy. <laughs> oh, right, they made it so cold to hit these guys. And I think they made it so spears can't, too, so you'd have to try really hard to not be able to. And even if you tried, no, you, you actually, you literally can't, because Fran can at least equip a bow to start with. You could always go back and buy that bow. And Balthier can equip a gun. Still, having Vossler helps. And I will certainly be making use of him when fighting uh, demon walls. Anything to speed up my DPS. Try attack is very dangerous. That can do a lot of damage. Yeah. 
need Vaughn to level up and I can swap this party out. Also got to be real careful here. I was getting this confused with Namiensa. This is the farm spot. Yeah. The Ogier Gainsa is where the farm spot is. This is part of it. There is a, a particular enemy that shows up here that will just super kill my party. Yeah. is not initially hostile, but much like the bombs that we encountered in the uh, mines, um, it aggroes if you cast a spell near it. That's it. Salamand Entity. Entite. I think it's supposed to be entity. It's uh it's like level 45 or something. Or level 17. It's just a giant murder ball. I don't really understand why it's here. except to troll the player. <laughs> and it's always here. Most of the other entities, you can either fight by the time you encounter them, or their appearance is based on weather. But this one is always here. Always. Oh, and it doesn't aggro to the enemies when they cast magic. Only to you. Just hostile magic. If you cast cure, I grow. First, it casts silence ga to silence your party and stop them from casting spells. Then it casts sleep ga to stop you from going anywhere. And then it casts Fyraga. Fyraja. Fyraga. Isn't the Final Fantasy 14 1.0 beta? Mm. Yes. <laughs> Maybe 1.3, because wouldn't 11 be the 1.0 beta? Oh, Ash's gambits are turned off. Bosch's gambits are not set correctly. No, they are. Hmm. I heard you don't want to do things. I don't want to die. The Salamand entity disagrees.
Oh yeah, if you turn off gambits, then they don't do anything unless you tell them to. And if you don't set them to have any kind of attack gambit, they also don't do anything. Now this weapon... I could have Pinello attack these guys. She would do such crap damage anyway. Nice. Is there a thing in this game where the party members levels are based off your level when you first get them? Yes. So if you grind up Vaughn to be level 50 right at the beginning of the game, then everyone that you get from that point forward will be level 51. Just randomly as an example. Bosh attack so slowly. Since you actually get Pinello in your party twice, um, you can actually make her go down a level. Go down several levels. When you first get her in your party, if you knock Vaughn out and just solo with her and level her up a lot, um, then when she leaves your party and joins later, her level is reset to your average party level. So she'll reset to lower than what she was. Welcome back, Michio. We no longer have Vaughn in the active party. For at least a little while. Would you ever bring him back? Because technically all six of your party members are quote unquote in the fight. If like if Bosch, Ash, and Pinello all died right now, I could switch to Von Balthier and Fran in the middle of the fight. So it is really beneficial to level up all your characters. Make them sit in the PC box forever. <laughs> are you gonna play Pokemon Coliseum? Uh, probably not. I was never really into any of the Pokemon Coliseums. Coliseum is basically all Pokemon double battles only. Isn't Pokemon Coliseum the battle tower, though? With like rules about what Pokemon you can use and uh, specific level limitations, and you only have three Pokemon. I'm pretty sure that's what Pokemon Coliseum 1 was when I 
when I was watching someone play it. <laughs> oh, Stadium. Yeah. Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, I've never heard of Pokemon Coliseum then. Alter Pinello's Gambit. She's casting that. People are way too high health. Let's do 40%. Am I dumb? Oh, no, okay, yeah, I, I see how I was going to do it. Okay. Vaguely linked sequel to Pokemon XD Gate of Darkness. Pinello to sleep. Do you have a GameCube still? I do. I haven't plugged it in in forever, but I do have one. I do not have an N64. that you can just punch people to wake them up. didn't get hit by that Cura. <laughs> the mainline Pokemon games, very much recommend those two. I'm really looking forward to the, uh, the Gen 4 remake and Pokemon Breath of the Wild. Stop. Why? Why always Pinello? What do you guys have against Pinello? She doesn't even do anything in the fight. It's so annoying. Pinello is the one 
who is best for waking people up because she does no damage. But instead, you make me unequip Ash, have her punch Canelo, and then re equip Ash. Prefer Gen 4's original Overworld graphics, and ones aren't the worst. Like, look, so it's battles. Yeah, I'm hoping... There's a lot of things I'm hoping for from it. Um... I'm hoping that it will have a complete and updated Pokedex. And not be limited like Sword and Shield was. At the very least, I'm hoping it will have a complete and updated up to Gen 4 Pokedex. Because then at least I can do challenge runs like I was planning to do with Sword and Shield before I found out that I was never going to be able to have more than like 200 Pokemon to choose from. The application? No. Thank oh, 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 what is that thing doing here? That is not supposed to be here. Very rude. Um, it's my application. Thanks again for your help. No problem. Remember Nard saying you were doing ground type only? Yeah, I really enjoyed that. That was so much fun. And then I was like, I'll do uh, dog dog Pokemon next. And then that's when I found out that that was never, ever, ever going to be a possibility. away. It's too close. Stop. Don't chase. We don't need to go down there. One shot us all. Run away. Yes. Also, I'm pretty sure it does cast Fyraja because Fyraja is a You obtain 29 gil. Gil is the money in Final Fantasy. Um, I have no idea the etymology of the word. It's just always been gil. Fire one of your party members says, oh, that's Vossler. I killed him on purpose. Uh, trust me, he deserves it. Cast Obliterate? Vossler, Vossler deserves to be dead. He would be sapping my XP anyway. With him in the party, you get less XP because he technically absorbs some of it. Which, I mean, on the upside, he does level up. But uh, on the downside, he does eventually leave our party permanently forever. So I don't really feel like investing XP in him. that leave forever. We're all level 18. Oh no, I was looking at the wrong party because I'm dumb. One of us is level 18. Two of us are level 17.
Yeah, on PS2 called Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits. In that game, about halfway through, you get a guy that seems kind of cool. It turns out he has a level cap of like 30. Ah. Uh. I'll never get over the uh, how devastated I was in Final Fantasy IV when Forum and Palum died. I was like, I liked them a lot and I, I was getting ready to make them part of my main party and then I was like, oh, never mind. The slime bully. <laughs> the slime is bullying me. The prince has now been banished to Bastion Covenant. <laughs> Listen, these are not the slimes that. Uh, Oh, I've forgotten his name. What is his name? The professor. The plague doctor guy. Marilyn. These are not the kind of slimes that Marilyn would like. Think people who die. Nothing else. For other ones. Seven Crisis Core. I have not followed any of the FF7 spin offs. I know they exist. I've never played any of them or, or looked at anything about them. First played it, you had no information on FF7. This is a good place to chain slimes. So of course there's immediately frogs to ruin the chain. We get more slimes to show up? Sadly, it breaks the chain to uh, leave the zone. So, you can't just leave and come back to get them to reset. Oh well, rip chain, time to kill frogs. so mad at Ash. She's doing like no damage to it. Must have poked it in the lung or something. She's doing like 29 damage a hit. 38. That's a new record. Why is she doing so little damage? I know that these are stronger than the ones outside, but like, they shouldn't be that strong. Whenever he hits me, he takes damage. Oh, 
Why is he taking damage when he hits me? Is that just... That's not, because he's taking the exact same damage. Well, he's not doing, doing it anymore. I don't know what was going on. Maybe it was the... Uh, Counter-attack. Oh, Pinello's out of MP. Uh, whoops. Does Pinello gain MP when she attacks? No. The reason I'm running Pinello around is uh, the characters regenerate mana as they run. So if I run Pinello around, she'll recover mana. You just got the warning. Oh, right! That that comes out today. I forgot. I'm going to have to log into WoW after I finish this stream. Sight unseeing. Nice. Kill that frog. You had no idea. You're all grumpy earlier because servers were down for longer than usual. Yeah, it was. Um, it's not a. It's not the full like big patch that's coming, but there was a lot of stuff going on this patch. Oh, is it the new time walking event yet for Warlords of Draenor? Pinello's time to shine. Smack Bosch, please. 9.0.5. Yeah, I think 9.1 is going to be Chains of Domination. Thinking of replaying World of Draenor? Just thinking of doing the, uh, the dungeons. I enjoyed the, the time walking Burning Crusade dungeons and uh, the Mr. Pandaria ones. And I still need more time walking badges to get those mounts and stuff. It is started yesterday. Nice. I have a four day weekend, so uh, if you want to do some time walking dungeons, let me know. Hey, Koma. How's it going? everyone awake so late? This is my normal stream time. Oh dear. Um, hello, please wake Ash up. Wow, okay, Pinello. Just like one shot Ash. Sure, no problem. 
I asked you to lightly tap her, and you just bash her head in. Forgot about the time warp, warp walk badges. Is that muck? It is a slime. Faces are detailed as fuck. The slime faces or the character faces in the menu? When was this game made? It was a PS2 game, but it wasn't too long before the end of. Uh, before the, the release of PS3. Characters, yeah. There's some really good art in this game. It's a shame. There used to be really good art in the Clan Primer, but they replaced it with in game creature models. Hey, Pinello. We got enough high potions. He'll wash up. God, stop. Just die, you stupid slimes. You know what? Use an ether. That was not very much mana. Slime just bit your face, it did. Hey, we didn't trigger the trap. Good job, team. Fight back, Slimes. Fight back. So many developer streams lately. Feels like time is moving so slow. Oh, Monster Hunter developer streams. Oh, the goalies. Bagels. Monster Hunter soon. Say definitively if you'll be getting Monster Hunter Rise. I don't know. I've got so many other things that I want to do with my time. I just I don't know if I, I I don't know if I have the time for Monster Hunter Rise. Check the raccoon rock dogs and shoe abused. <laughs>
Turtle Shell Choker, what does that do? Newell's casting a magic with Gill rather than MB. No. No, I don't want that, as it turns out. That is incredibly bad for me right now. Also, players the Subnautica, WoW Chains, Corridor's Return. Um, really, those two. Um, but I'm also, like, I'm not anywhere close to finishing this game. And I definitely do want to do the full playthrough of this game. Off to sleep. Alrighty, thanks for stopping by, Winister. Have a good night. Subnautica below zero. Just looking at chunky lives when she kick, kicked it like a field goal and made it explode. God damn it. They are so mad at Pinello. Stop hitting her! Aggro to me! I'm wearing heavy armor! Stupid slime. The games are pretty long. Like 100 plus hours for the main story. Not that long. But uh, it's probably going to take me a good 50 or 60 hours to beat this game and do everything I want to do. I'm not going to do all the hunts, but I'm going to do some some of them and I'm going to take my time with it. Now everyone's up late. New green chunky turtle platypus monster. I'm just worried that like I'm gonna get sucked into the Monster Hunter Rise and then not play anything else or not be able to enjoy playing anything else for a while. Because that's usually what happens to me is I get too sucked into a game and until I have my fill of that game nothing else is fun. And that's fine if the game is short, but Monster Hunter doesn't really have an end. in combat feel so good. Show with WoW heavily influenced by Flarecon. <laughs> with this, I'm enjoying Final Fantasy XII, but I'm not like sucked in that I have to play it all the time. And with Subnautica Below Zero, I'm certain it's not going to be like, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to finish that game in a week or two. I'm not going to be sucked into it for the next six months. I don't know. I might pick it up after I've run out of other things I want to do. Or just if I see enough friends playing it. <laughs> a little annoyed with Mobile Discord VC being so bad for you, so you don't enjoy playing anything online. That's why you quit, Dom. 
Dauntless. Oh my god. This is taking much longer to get through than I thought it would. Alright, we're gonna set Pinello up with a new gambit. Ally HP less than 60%. Potion. We are running out of potions, though. Look at her licenses too and see if she's got anything for that. Wow, she really doesn't have like potion lore. Are you kidding me? That's very frustrating. Um, if enough of us get Monster Hunter Rise, Flare will join. There's Rod of Faith. Good grief. So far away. Magic damage. Gain MP after dealing damage. It's so far away. Oh. This will be slower than rolls, it's going to be fresh and less to catch up on. I did get into a uh, world pretty late, so there was already a lot of stuff going on. I think I think I've had enough of this place. We're just going to leave. Killing these things is way too slow and I'm just going to run myself out of potions. Played World for the first six months, then the last six months before Iceborne. Oh yeah, these ones up here are much lower level. Really do like how Rise is mixing elements of World slash Iceborne with the Monster Hunter. 
game you're you're playing called Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Styles and customization is going to be nutty. Alright, we just need to get Pinello to level 19 and we can swap out the party. Whoops, did not mean to fast forward. Okay, that's the entity again. See, this is where I expect the entity to be, entity to be, not down where he was before. Uh, we just, we just gonna go. She has a thermostat set at 79. Oh, God. That's way too high. Sleep like babies, so waking up every couple of hours and wine.
Oof, old kitty. That's a good question. How do you know her age? the one spell to remove silence which she can't use because she silenced both went to the doctor for a checkup and the doctor told you on my robe and wizard hat. It's an upgrade. missed because uh, I was low enough health that that might have taken Bosch out. Please take one grandma cat and a chug of your choice. I think I will pass. Come over here, you stupid wyvern. Yep, spears can hit him now. Wrecked. Do you have a gun now? No, uh, I forgot that in this version of the game, um, spears and poles can hit them too. I've got uh, a bow so she can hit them, and then Bosch is using, using a spear so he can hit them too. Now that she's not having to... That's the katana he's got, yeah. Now that she's not having to cast Cura multiple times in a single fight, 
And I was actually starting to regain some mana. He couldn't get through, his AI couldn't figure it out, but then Bosch moved. seen Pugsley at his purest form. Please let me know next time you log on to WoW. Curious how much bigger your watering agent is. I will uh, I will be logging on to WoW um, after this stream if you're still awake at like 1.30. Hey Sin! How's it going? As always, very much appreciate your wordplay. Thank you. <laughs> You have a t-shirt for Pugsley? So, so, so very sleepy. Can't blame you. It's big if I am old, but yeah, okay. <laughs> if not, I'll, uh... You can just message me sometime tomorrow, and I can hop on. It's T-shirt Pugsley in Discord. In this area, is it looking very boss out here? Uh, underneath this area, yeah. In the Zertinian Caverns. Party sequel time. I mean, I guess technically it's a beach, although the water is also sand. A boss, yeah, I forget his name. He's like some kind of wind. I think I've only ever fought him once. And that was on like the actual PS2 version of the game, not this one. Stop silencing Pinello. Really keep your eyes open. You should get some sleep, man. Unless you're staying up for something for a reason. You should definitely get some sleep. Honestly, I'm pretty tired, too. I don't think I'm getting enough sleep. I keep waking up too early and not being able to get back to sleep. I just wanted to say hello. Thanks for stopping by, man. Get some sleep and have a good night. Snaps for all. I almost took a nap. <laughs> oh, Pinello leveled up. I need to swap out the party. You're wake up between 6 and 6.30 a.m. like clockwork. Ouch. Party cannot contain more than characters. There we go. 
Sadly, we have Vaughn now. Actually, honestly, I am getting very sleepy, and I think... Yeah. I think this is actually a good point to, uh, to end the stream. <laughs> I'm gonna sell to this guy. Good night and sleep well, man. Thanks, you too. On causing stream to end early. <laughs> Just pass me the key. Yep, time to raid Coma. Oh, this one, he doesn't sell anything worthwhile. He just buys stuff. Oh crap, Bossler's alive. We're gonna have to kill him again. Oh well. No one likes you, Bossler. Alright. But yeah, I think that is gonna do it for the stream. So I will, I will get on to WoW and uh, get my Wandering Agent mount in just like 5 or 10 minutes, Mishio. Stream is dustier than. Uh, I like Betty White. Okay. But uh, thanks everyone for hanging out. Uh, today is Tuesday. My days are messed up because I worked yesterday. Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. So I will be streaming tomorrow. Uh, same time, probably same game. I'm still really enjoying this, and we have a whole other half of the, the Sand Sea to go through. Plus. There's a rare spawn if we do a good enough combo chain. So I want to do that as well. Till then, thanks for stopping by and have a good night. <laughs>